Have you ever wondered what magic water performs in the heart of your plants? The answer is much more intriguing than you might think. Water is the unsung hero of the plant world, a life-giving elixir that breathes vitality into every leaf, stem and root. When a plant is well hydrated, it stands tall and robust with leaves that are lush and radiant, but when it's thirsty, it droops, its leaves curling and losing their vibrant hues. This transformation is not merely cosmetic, it is a visual manifestation of a profound process happening within the plant's cells, where water is diligently at work. Water is essential for plants, not just to quench their thirst, but also to transport vital nutrients from the soil to the leaves. It's this process, known as transpiration, that allows plants to flourish and grow. But remember, water isn't just a necessity. It's the lifeblood that fuels each leaf, stem and root. Just like us, plants need water to survive, but the way they use it is a marvel of nature. Imagine a highway, but instead of cars and trucks, it's water molecules, nutrients and minerals that are on the move. This highway is the plant's vascular system, and it's powered by a fantastic process known as transpiration. Transpiration is like the beating heart of a plant. It's a process where water travels from the root, through the stem, and eventually evaporates from the leaves creating a kind of suction that pulls up more water and nutrients from the soil. It's a continuous cycle, a lifeline that keeps the plant thriving. But here's the thing, not all plants are the same. Just as you might prefer coffee over tea, or maybe you're a fan of smoothies, plants have their own preferences when it comes to water. Some plants, like cacti or succulents, are the camels of the plant world. They've evolved to store water and use it sparingly, making them perfect for those of us who might forget a watering day or two. On the other hand, there are plants that love to have their feet wet. Ferns, for example, thrive in moist environments and need regular watering to stay lush and vibrant. So, how do you quench your plant's unique thirst? Well, it starts with observation. Each plant is a bit like a puzzle, and it's up to you to figure it out. Look at the leaves, feel the soil, and over time, you'll start to understand when your plant is thirsty. You might notice that your plant's leaves droop when it needs water, or maybe the soil feels dry to the touch. These are signs, little clues that your plant leaves for you. The more you observe, the more you'll understand your plant's watering needs. It's not just about keeping your plant alive, it's about helping it to thrive. Because when you get it right, when you find that sweet spot between too much and too little water, that's when the magic happens. That's when you see your plant grow, bloom, and become the best version of itself. Knowing when and how much to water is an art in itself, one that requires observation and understanding. Each plant has its own watering needs, and there's an array of techniques to satisfy them. Firstly, let's talk about the good old finger test. It's as simple as it sounds. Just stick your finger an inch into the soil. If it feels dry, it's time to water. If it's moist, you can wait a bit longer. This is a great method for beginners, or for those who prefer to keep things simple and hands-on. Now, for those who don't mind getting a bit techy, you might want to consider using a moisture meter. This handy device measures the moisture content in the soil, so there's no guesswork involved. Just insert the probe into the soil, and the meter will tell you if your plant is thirsty or not. It's a fantastic tool to help you avoid both overwatering and underwatering. Then there's the watering can, a classic gardening tool. While it may seem old-fashioned, it gives you full control over how much water your plants get. Plus, there's something quite calming about the ritual of filling the can and gently pouring water onto your plants. For those with a large garden or perhaps a busy schedule, an automated watering system might be the right fit. These systems are set to water your plants at specific intervals, ensuring they get a consistent supply of water. It's like having a personal gardener who never takes a day off. Another technique is bottom watering which is especially useful for potted plants. Simply fill a tray with water and place your pot in it. The plant will absorb just the right amount of water it needs through the drainage holes in the pot. This method is great for plants that don't like water on their leaves, like African violets. Finally, there's the watering globe, a decorative and functional tool. Just fill the globe with water and it gradually releases water into the soil over time. It's a stylish way to ensure your plants stay hydrated, especially when you're away from home. Remember, the aim here is not just to water your plants, but to understand their unique thirst. Some plants like to stay consistently moist, 
while others prefer a good drink followed by a dry spell. Finding the right watering method can make all the difference in your plant's health and growth. So, keep experimenting, observe your plants, and you'll soon become a watering wizard. Just like Goldilocks, plants don't like their water too much or too little. They want it just right. So, what happens when we tip the scales and either over or underwater our leafy companions? Let's delve into this. When we overwater, we risk drowning our plants. Yes, plants can drown too. This waterlogging can deprive roots of the oxygen they need, leading to a condition known as root rot. It's as grim as it sounds. Roots turn soft, brown and decay, compromising the plant's ability to absorb nutrients. Watch out for signs like yellow leaves wilting despite wet soil and a noticeable foul odor. Overwatered plants can also attract diseases and pests. Another reason to avoid going overboard with the watering can. On the flip side, underwatering can be just as detrimental. Plants need water for photosynthesis, the process that allows them to convert sunlight into food. Without enough water, this process slows down and the plant's growth stunts. Telltale signs of underwatering include dry, brittle leaves, slow growth and wilting. If your plant's leaves are turning brown and crispy at the edges, it's a cry for more water. Now the impact of improper watering isn't just on the plant's health, it can also affect their ability to flower and produce fruits. Too much or too little water can cause flower buds to drop before they have a chance to open or prevent them from forming altogether. In fruit-bearing plants, inconsistent watering can lead to problems like blossom end rot in tomatoes and split fruits in citrus trees. So, how do we avoid these watering woes? The key is to know your plant's specific needs. Some like their soil to dry out completely between watering, while others prefer consistently moist soil. Understanding your plant's water preferences can make a world of difference in their overall health and happiness. Remember, balance is key in watering. It's a delicate dance, a harmony that keeps your plants thriving and happy. Balance is key in watering, a harmony that keeps your plants thriving and happy. In our quest to quench our plants' thirst, innovation has played a vital role. Let's talk about self-watering pots and hydroponic systems, two game changers in the world of plant care. Self-watering pots are a marvel, designed to keep your plants adequately hydrated without constant supervision. They have a built-in reservoir that slowly releases water into the soil, ensuring your plants get just the right amount of moisture they need. Hydroponic systems, on the other hand, take the concept of watering to a new level. These systems cultivate plants in water rich with nutrients, eliminating the need for soil altogether. The result? Faster growth rates, higher yields, and the satisfaction of gardening without the mess of soil. These innovations not only simplify plant care, but also open up new possibilities for plant lovers. With self-watering pots and hydroponic systems, you can go beyond traditional gardening methods and explore a whole new world of plant care. Innovation in watering not only simplifies plant care, but also opens up new possibilities for plant lovers. Watering isn't just about quenching our plants' thirst, it's about conserving our precious resources too. As we cultivate our green spaces, we must remember that every drop of water is a gift from nature. So how can we make our watering practices more sustainable? One way is through rainwater harvesting. Collecting the rain that falls on our roofs and storing it for later use is a smart and eco-friendly way to keep our plants hydrated. It's like giving our plants a taste of the sky right in our backyards. Another method is the use of mulch. By spreading a layer of organic material on the surface of our soil, we can retain moisture and reduce evaporation. It's a simple step that not only conserves water, but also enriches the soil, creating a healthier environment for our plants. Sustainable watering practices ensure that our love for plants doesn't come at the cost of our environment. Let's make every drop count and cultivate a garden that flourishes sustainably. And the act of watering goes beyond plant care. It's a nurturing process that brings immense joy and fulfillment. It's a dance of love between the gardener and the garden, a silent conversation that blooms into life. It's about understanding, listening, and responding to the subtle cues of your leafy companions. Every gardener has a story to tell, stories of triumph and transformation, of patience and perseverance. They speak of that magical moment when a wilting leaf perks up, rejuvenated by a timely drink. They recount the thrill of witnessing a bud unfurl into a flower, a testimony to their tender care, Watering is not merely a task, it's a journey of discovery, 
an exploration of the silent language of plants. It's a testament to the resilience of life, the power of nurturing and the beauty of growth. Watering is a celebration of life, a quiet meditation, a labor of love. Every drop of water you provide is a token of love, a gift that your plants cherish. Now that you've delved into the science of watering, it's time for you to embark on your own journey. Explore the wonders of water, its role as the lifeblood of plants, and the magic it performs in the heart of your green friends. Unleash your curiosity and experiment with different watering techniques, from the simplicity of the finger test to the marvels of automated watering systems. Remember, each plant has its unique thirst. Learn to understand it, cater to it, and watch as your plants thrive under your care. Beware the perils of overwatering and underwatering, and always be on the lookout for signs of hydration issues. Embrace innovation, consider self-watering pots and hydroponic systems. They can simplify your plant care routine and yield stunning results. And most importantly, find joy in this nurturing process. The fulfillment of giving life, of watching it grow and flourish under your care, is truly priceless. Go ahead, quench your plant's thirst and in the process, discover the joy of nurturing life.